Yo yo gang what's up? Recently Chief Keef dropped a new song called Dirty Nachos produced by the legend Mike Will Made It and the beat goes hard as fuck. So today we're gonna cook up a beat similar to this but before we get started let me show you a quick preview of the beat we're cooking up today. So the first thing you can hear in the beat are these short strings. So let's create a melody like this. So I found this preset on the SRX Orchestra by Roland and it sounds like this. So let me find the melody real quick. The melody is really simple, but this is exactly what we want to have for this type of beat. For the effects we got the vintage chorus to make the strings sound wider, a sound shifter to pitch up the strings one octave. I could also just bring up the midi one octave, but the sound shifter brings in some character and makes the strings sound a little bit detuned. So when you compare it you can hear the difference. After the sound shifter we got two equalizers, the first one to cut out the lows and the second one to boost the highs, so the strings are a little bit more clear. The last thing I added is this Valhalla Vintage Verb as an sand effect. So that's the main part of our sample. And now the only thing I want to add are some textures to make the sample more interesting. So I found this one shot from the Distra True Drum Kit by The Wizard and Prod TB and I pitched it up three semitones so it fits to the key of our sample. <laughs> So now I want to add some nice effects so it's more like a texture. So now I found this texture also from the Distra 2 kit. So let's see what we can do with this. So for the hook let's add one more texture. So the last thing I want to add to bring in some energy is a nice trap bell.
So as you can see, I added this E at the end of the pattern and it's not part of the D sharp minor scale. I can't explain it, but it sounds really good and brings in this dark trap vibe. Yeah, man, that's it for the sample. Now let's add some hard drums to it. So for the hi-hat, I want to leave some gaps so it gets a nice bounce. So now finally let's add a hard 808. In dirty nutshells you can hear the 808 go down and up like this. So let's recreate this. Yeah. 